everyone. Welcome to the ER. Oh, we've been waiting for so long. How much longer are we going to have to wait? I want to go home. I'm so bored. I can't believe we've been sitting here for hours now. Why is it taking so long? I hope you so well, Crystal Star. Oh, we have a plane to catch, and yet we are sitting here in the ER. You really can't take your eyes off your kid for even a second. I only took my eyes off her for a minute and she goes and she eats a worm. I wish they had some video games or something to play in the ER. All they have are these really old magazines to look at. <sighs> oh, I, don't, I don't feel so good. Well, that's because you ate a worm, little sister. I don't know why I ate it. I guess it looked like a candy worm, but, but it didn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop eating random things off the floor. That was a dirty, disgusting worm. Hi, I'm here to help my mommy. Um, are you a Mitch by any chance? Oh, hi. Is your mom named Mitch? Sorry, my name is Crystal Star. Uh, not this lady either. Um, hello, hi there. What time is it? Oh my gosh, are we going to be able to catch our flight? Oh, look at the time. We've been sitting here for hours already. And we have a flight to catch. Uh -oh. oh no, no, no. I can't believe this is happening. How much longer are we going to be waiting here? If we miss our flight, it would be a nightmare. Then we have to book all the hotels and everything all over again. Mom, I'm back. What else can I help you with? Who's next? I can go grab the next person for you. Aw, oh, you're back already, Junior Anna. Thank you so much. You are such a good mommy's little helper. Okay, next on the list is Christy. Okay, got it. I'll go find a Christy for you. One second. Hi there. Is there a Christy? Hello? Hi, Christy is up next. <gasps> Did you say Christy? Yes, yes, that's my daughter. Yay, it's finally our turn. That's us. We've been waiting all morning already. Um, right over here, Christy. Come on, sweetheart. We have to go. She's calling us. It's finally our turn. Come on, put the magazine away, Crystal Star. Aww. Carry your sister, honey. Mom, I'm back. I brought back a, a Christy and her mom and her sister. And I did it really fast this time. I like found them right away. Aw, good job, Junior Anna. You really did. Thank you so much. You found them so fast, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wish you could come to work with me every day. You've been such a big help to me this morning. Hi there. I believe our name was called for a Christy. Oh, yes, Christy. Hi. My name is Anna. I'm a nurse here at the ER. And um, what brought you in here today? How can we help you? Mom, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh my goodness, really honey? Crystal Star, do you have a bag? Oh my gosh, she's been throwing up all morning already. How can this happen right today too when we have a flight to catch? If this continues, is she going to be throwing up on the airplane? Uh-oh. So what happened was my sister went outside and she saw a worm, she picked it up, she brought it inside and apparently she says that she thought it was candy or chocolate and basically she ate a worm. Oh dear, she ate a worm. And uh, has she been feeling sick ever since she um, ate a worm? Yes, I was just upstairs grabbing the luggage for like a minute and then by the time I went downstairs, she had already ate the worm and she's been vomiting. She vomits so much, I was so worried so I had to bring her here to the hospital. Oh dear, she's been vomiting? Oh no, extreme vomiting is not good. We're gonna have to do some tests then. Okay, one second, let me just enter all of the information you've told me into the computer. Normally, it's not too big of a deal to eat a worm, except that it's very unhygienic. But since she's been vomiting, we'll have a doctor see her. Perfect, please. I am so worried. Oh, also, I brought this. Um, and if you need more, I do have another bag in the car. Huh? What? What is that? 
What did you bring? It's always really weird when patients give us stuff at the ER. Here you go. Maybe you can run some lab tests. I brought it just in case you wanted to run some lab tests. Um, thank you? Uh, what is in this bag? Oh, it really stinks too! Mom, what is that? It's all mushy and gross! Throw it away! It's stinky! Ew! Oh, oh this bag makes me want to vomit! What is in here? What? What is this? Oh, this? This is my daughter's vomit! I packed it up, I scooped out all of her vomit and put it in this bag for you in case you needed it to run any lab tests. This is what my daughter puked out. Wait a minute, are you saying I'm holding vomit right now? Oh, take it back! Are you sure you don't need this? I scooped every bit of her puked up this morning just in case you would ask for it, in case you need to run any lab tests. Oh my gosh, no, that is disgusting. No, you do not have to pick up puke or vomit and pack it in a bag and bring it to the hospital. We don't need that. My sister is a doctor here and I'm just going to ask you to go right this way. Follow my daughter. She'll take you to a doctor. Yeah, I'll take you to Auntie Elsa. But, but, throw that vomit bag away because it's stinky and it's gross. Junior Anna, please take these nice folks, these nice family to my sister, Dr. Elsa, for an examination. Follow me. She's just right over here. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, let me see the chart here. Based on Anna's notes, it looks like this toddler ate some worms. Oh my, oh dear. And been vomiting and has a stomach ache. Oh, that's the doctor. Finally, we get to see a doctor. Hi, doctor. We are so glad to see you. My daughter is feeling really sick. She's vomited a few times this morning, and I believe she ate a worm. That was the cause of all this. We've been waiting for hours in the emergency ER room just to see a doctor. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm so sorry for the long wait today. There was a rainstorm in the morning, and we had so many accidents, uh -oh. but my name is Dr. Elsa. And my daughter here is Junior Elsa. She'll also be helping you today as a apprentice. Um, her school is doing a little thing here where she gets to go to work with me. I hope you don't mind if my daughter sits in, if that's okay with you. Hi! Today I get to be a doctor too, because my mom's a doctor. And when I grow up, I want to be a doctor just like my mommy. Oh no, I don't mind at all. I think it's adorable that your daughter gets to go to work with you today. However, I really, really need you to have a look at my daughter. She's feeling really sick and we don't have much time. We have a flight to catch. If we don't get on that plane, it's gonna fly off without us. Oh my, a medical examination on a time crunch. Um, I'll try my best. Okay, hi honey, how are you feeling? Oh, feel so good. My stomach really hurts. I threw up like four times. I guess I shouldn't have ate five worms this morning. Wait, what? You ate five worms? I thought you told me you ate a worm. I didn't know you ate five worms. Oh, did I say I ate a worm? No, I meant I ate worms. I ate like four or five or six. Oh my gosh, little sister, no wonder you feel sick. Oh man, I hope our luggage is not overweight because that would be a problem when we arrive at the airport. All right, let's load our luggage into the car now. What? What, sweetheart? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Daisy, sweetheart, I can't understand what you're saying. You're going to have to take off your pacifier, sweetie. I said, I want to be put down, please, Daddy. Oh, to put you down. Of course, sweetie. Why didn't you say so? I did, Daddy. All right, down you go, Missy. This way, my hands will be free and I can put the luggages into the trunk. I love playing in my sandbox. I'm going to make a sand castle. Okay, can you not make 
make such a mess? Oh my gosh, you're getting so much sand on your clothes. I am not sitting next to you on the plane. I'm not making a mess. I'm making a princess castle. Okay, I need to get my shovel off because I'm going to make something really cool. First, I'm going to need a lot of sand. So let me dig. Oh, this is a lot of work. Ooh, I'm going to dig a lot of sand. And then I'm going to pile it together. <laughs> Do you guys like playing in the sandbox too? Because playing in the sandbox is my favorite thing. Look, there's so much sand. And I made a big pile here. Oh my god, Daisy, your clothes are covered in sand. I do not want to sit next to you on the plane right now. Oh, why are you playing in the sandbox when we're about to head to the airport? Oh no! Daisy, you're always doing something crazy like this. <laughs> yes! <Yeah. laughs> Go! I score! Go! I need to do that again. I'm really good at soccer. Look at me! <laughs> and I score again. Crystal Star, Uptown Girl, look, look what I can do. Ha! Daisy, please knock it out. If you kick that soccer ball and it hits me and gets my clothes dirty, I'm going to be really upset with uh -oh. you. And I kick it. And it scored again. Into the goalie. I'm really good at soccer. Don't worry, the goalie's behind me. I'm not going to kick it and it's not going to hit you. Ha! Almost done. Okay, now I'm going to make a big turtle because I have this big turtle mold and I've made enough sand piled together to make a turtle. I just got to put the turtle mold on the sand like this here. Actually, instead of making a turtle, I should have made a starfish. A starfish is way cooler. Okay, I'm going to make a starfish mold then instead of a turtle mold. <gasps> What's that? It's a lollipop! I found a strawberry lollipop! Oh, yay! It looks yummy! Even though it looks like it's kind of covered in sand. Maybe I can just blow off the sand. <laughs> it's strawberry too and strawberry is my favorite flavor! Daisy, where did you get that lollipop? It looks old too. I found it in the sandbox. It's an old lollipop. <laughs> There's a sand on it. Oh my god, Daisy, I can't believe you're eating an old lollipop you found in the sand. That's so gross. How many times have we taught you not to eat stuff from the ground? Throw that away right now. But it's probably my old lollipop that I didn't finish. It doesn't matter. This is absolutely disgusting. Throw away that lollipop right now, Daisy. No, I don't wanna. I wanna eat it. It still tastes kind of good. Daisy, it's absolutely disgusting. Stop eating food that you find off the ground. Okay, throw that away right now or I'm going to call mom and you're going to be in big trouble. Oh, what if I eat it like this? See, I'm not licking the lollipop. I'm just going to eat it like this. That's still disgusting, Daisy. It's a lollipop that you found in the sand. That's gross. Throw that away right now, please. Otherwise, I'm going to call mom out and tell her that you ate something off the ground again. And you know we had a little talk about that. Yeah, okay, fine. Don't tell mom. I'm going to spit out the lollipop. <coughs> Clear. I'm not eating the lollipop anymore. I'm going to dig here and I'm going to make a seashell next to the castle. And what's under here? <gasps> Is that a chocolate bar? <gasps> I remember eating this chocolate bar last week and then I lost it. Looks like it was underneath here all along. Yay! And it still looks kind of good. <laughs> There's some sand on it, but that's okay because it 
It's my favorite chocolate flavor. <laughs> Ooh, sand. Okay, I found my bag. We can leave to the airport now. I think I have everything. All is in my bag, our passport, keys, and wallet. Okay, let's head to the airport if everyone is ready. Still good. Even though there's a lot of sand. Oh my god, Daisy, did you play in your sandbox again? Oh my god, Daisy, where did you get that chocolate bar? And it is filthy, it is covered in sand. Oh, don't tell me you ate something off the ground again. I finished it, it is so good. Mom, I am not sitting next to Daisy on the plane. Her clothes are covered in sand. And earlier, I caught her eating a lollipop that she found in the sand. It was covered in sand and it was gross. Daisy, were you eating a lollipop that you found in the sandbox? Oh my god, how many times have we talked about this, Daisy? You are not to eat anything off the ground. And oh my goodness, your clothes, they're all dirty and covered in sand now. What were you doing when all of this was going down, honey? You were supposed to be watching the girls, especially Daisy. Did you know that she ate a lollipop that she found in the sandbox? Oh, sorry, to be honest, I was kind of distracted. With what? And Daisy also ate a whole chocolate bar that she found in the dirt. She is so going to get a stomach ache later. You were supposed to be watching all of the girls, honey. Sorry, honey, uh, Uptown Girl and Crystal Star got into a little bit of a fight. They were running back and forth, and I must have gotten distracted. I was trying to stop them from fighting, so I wasn't watching Daisy. <gasps> Drop that dirty chocolate bar right now, Daisy. How many times have we talked about not eating something found on the ground? You know you're gonna get a stomach ache and you're gonna start feeling sick later. This, this was mine though. This was my chocolate that I lost last week. And I didn't know that it was in the sandbox. It, it still tastes good, Mommy. Oh my God, a chocolate bar from last week? Oh, in the sandbox? And Daisy, you are covered in sand and filth. Oh dear, what are we gonna do? Okay, let, first let me let's go change you. Oh, we can't have you sitting on the plane covered in sand. Come on. Okay, let's go get changed inside, and then we're gonna have a serious talk, young lady, about eating stuff from the ground. Uh, my stomach doesn't feel so good, mommy. Uh, that could possibly because you were eating a lollipop that you found in the sandbox. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, mommy. Okay, okay, let's see here. Okay, let's head out. Does it really hurt, honey? Do you think you'll be able to sit on the plane? Uh oh. Oh dear, this is bad. Oh, it feels so good. My stomach hurts. And. I feel really nauseous. I think I have to puke again. And I hope you learned your lesson about eating stuff from the floor. Oh, this is bad. Right before our family vacation, too. My stomach really hurts, mommy. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, well, we still have some time. Why don't we go to the ER quickly before heading over to the airport? Let's just make sure that Daisy is okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just take Daisy to the ER. Hopefully, there's not going to be a long wait list and a long wait time. I guess there goes heading to the airport early to go to duty-free shops. Alright, family. Get into the car, please. Oh, man. Seriously? We have to go to the hospital? Oh, I hate going to the ER. Me too. Eat like five or six worms. I thought you said they tasted horrible. Yeah, they tasted horrible. But they look like chocolate and candy. So I thought that if I kept eating them, 
still start tasting like chocolate. Oh my gosh, just imagining a kid eating five worms. <laughs> Okay, dear, I guess we're gonna have to look into it because vomiting and a stomach ache after eating five worms is not good. I thought she only ate one worm, but she ate five worms. I literally only took my eyes off of her for a minute. Uh -oh. And then she started vomiting and she even vomit in my own suitcase, which means all my clothes now smells like vomit and are dirty. And we're supposed to be on the airplane in about an hour or two. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine. Um, okay, I'll try my best. Let's get you seated for examination. Let's get you seated here, sweetheart. This is my seat for little toddlers. It should be the perfect size for you. And then I'm gonna have to go through a long list of questions like were the worms covered in dirt? Um, how long ago did you eat these worms? Okay, little sister, let's get you onto this chair here. Wow, doctor, you weren't kidding when you said you had a lot of questions to ask. I want to go home. My stomach hurts. <laughs> I feel bad for that little girl. I can't believe she ate five worms though. Because when we were younger, we never ate any worms. And now we know that eating worms will give you a stomach ache and will make you puke. Yeah, and you wouldn't believe this. Earlier, her mom gave my mom a bag of vomit. She scooped up all the puke and put it in a bag. <gasps> Ew! What? Her mom scooped up all of her puke and put it in the bag and brought it to the hospital? That's disgusting! Uh-huh, and then she gave it to my mommy, and then mommy was like, uh, thank you, but then she was like, what is this? And then I was like, mommy, it's stinky. And then mom asked her what this is, and then mom found out it's puke, and mom gave it back. Eww. Okay, now we'll just run a few medical tests. I better go out. My mommy probably needs my help some more. Bye. Okay, so next I'm just gonna check on your heartbeat. So I'm gonna wear this thing around my neck and just place it here where I can hear your heart. <gasps> you can hear my heart? <gasps> Is it gonna hurt? Oh wait, I think I had that before when I went to the doctor. It didn't hurt last time. It's not gonna hurt. It might just feel a bit cold to the touch or a bit ticklish. <laughs> it is ticklish. <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit ticklish. Okay, looks like your heartbeat is normal. Now let's do the back side. Uh, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I also hear her heartbeat? Please, 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 mom. Well, first we have to ask the guardians for their permission. Is it okay if my daughter, Junior Elsa, listens to your daughter's heartbeat? Oh gosh, what time is it? What is the time? <gasps> Um, normally I would say yes and I don't want to be rude and everything, but it looks like we're really running low on time. OMG, I don't think we have time to let a toddler play doctor right now. I need to have my sister feeling ready to get on the plane. Otherwise, we're going to be missing our family vacation. We have a plane to catch. Um, sorry, no? Oh, yes, yes, you do have a plane to catch. I understand. Sorry, Junior Elsa, maybe the next patient, okay? Oh goodness, I feel so bad to say no, but I'm so sorry, I just don't think we have time right now. We do have a plane to catch and we still have to go home and finish packing, so we really need to just um, get this checkup done. Oh, of course, of course, absolutely. There's nothing to feel sorry about at all. I totally understand. Oh, sorry, Junior Elsa. I don't think they have time for that right now. They have a plane to catch, so we really need to speed up this checkup. But tell you what, the next patient, if they have time and if they say yes, I'll let you listen to their heartbeat, okay? Okay, I don't want them to miss their flight either. So it's okay, I'll just wait until the next patient. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad saying no, but I am like an anxious wreck right now. We need to get on that plane. Okay, sweetheart, please turn around so I can listen to your heartbeat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have a very healthy heartbeat. 
Okay, that's it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Nah, -uh, it was kind of ticklish and it was a little cold, but it didn't hurt. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use this to look into your ears. It's also gonna tickle and feel cold, but it won't hurt. This is called an otoscope. It just allows me to look into your ear canal and it'll allow me to check for any infections or too much earwax or if there's any lumps or anything in your ear. It wouldn't hurt at all, trust me. Uh, it's ticklish! <laughs> now other side. Uh, it's cold! Ticklish! <laughs> yes, it can be cold and a bit ticklish, but perfect. I don't see anything irregular or anything abnormal inside your ears. There is a lot of earwax in her ears, so I would suggest or recommend using some over-the-counter earwax removal drops. Okay, okay. Um, we can drop by the pharmacy or drugstore after this to grab her some um, earwax removal drops. Yes, but otherwise, she's perfectly healthy. I didn't see anything to be concerned about. Ah, don't worry. My mommy is a really good doctor. She'll make sure that you feel better in no time. I really hope so because my stomach hurts. Doctor, is there anything that you can help with her stomach ache? We're going to have to be on the plane soon and she can't seem to eat anything without vomiting and her stomach hurts. Is there any medicine that you can possibly just uh, prescribe to us? Uh, we're not there yet. I still have one more test I'd like to do. Okay, this is just a rubber hammer. It's not going to hurt at all. I'm just going to tap lightly, okay? Ah oh, my knee kicked! Ah Every time you hit my knee with that, it kicked! <laughs> you have very fast tendon reflex reaction. I guess there's nothing wrong here either. She is perfectly healthy, which is good news. Just to be extra thorough and to make sure she didn't eat anything else that she may have forgotten to tell us, I'm just going to do an ultrasound scan. Uh, like an x-ray? To see her stomach or something? All this really makes me nervous. I really hope she didn't eat anything else other than those four or five or six worms. Worms are bad already, let alone anything else. It's just a precaution. Before I start prescribing any medication, I just want to make sure she did not ingest anything else that she shouldn't have that could be disastrous for her health. So we'll just do an x-ray scan. Note to self, next time mom asks me to watch my little sister before a trip, I will watch her and not even blink. Hmm, I wonder how bad your pink eye is now. Hey sis, how bad is your eye? Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Take them off, I want to see. Maybe your pink eye has healed. Let's see. Take off your sunglasses. Yeah, right, as if I would take off my sunglasses to show you. You laughed at me earlier at breakfast. So no, hard no. Oh, come on, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just, you know, laughing. Take off your sunglasses, let me see. Maybe your pink eye's gone. Yeah, I highly doubt it. It's a hard no. Oh, come on, I won't laugh, I promise. Please just take off your sunglasses. I wanna see it. No means no. What part of no don't you understand? It's a hard and O. Oh. oh my god, now I'm extra curious. I bet her pink eye has gotten a lot worse. That's why she's not showing me. <laughs> you guys, you know what would be so funny? If we took a picture and posted it online. I bet my friends would love to see Uptown Girl, my little sister's pink eye. <laughs> okay, where's my phone? Let me look for my phone. Ah, here it is. Sweet, can't forget my phone. My phone has a pretty good camera and since I want to remember this moment to get back at my sister for all the naughty things she ever does to me, I'm going to take a picture of her pink eye. Um, Uptown Girl, hey look, I have something to show you. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Oh my gosh, hold still, this is too good. Oh my god, what are you doing? Hey, oh, I got so many good photos. 
Oh, I can't believe you pulled down my sunglasses and just took photos of me without my consent. I want you to delete those photos right now. I don't want anyone to see my pink eye. Crystal star. <laughs> oh my gosh, these photos are so good. Oh, your pink eye is so bad. Delete those photos right now. Yeah, right? No way. You better delete those photos right now or else, Crystal Star, or else I'm going to get you bad so bad that you will regret this day. Please, just delete those photos. Don't post it online or I'm going to be super mad with you. Yeah, no way am I deleting these photos. They're way too good. And remember the time you took a photo of me on the toilet? Well, this is revenge. Dad, Crystal Star took a picture of my pink eye and now she's going to post it online. Tell her to delete it, please. Oh, not another fight, girls. Can we have one peaceful day where there's no fighting in the house? I'm not getting involved in this. Ugh. Especially since I still have to care for your baby sister. <sighs> Dad, I can't believe you're not going to do anything about it. <sighs> oh my god, you guys, look at this photo. This is too good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I even have a video of her. She's like, what are you doing? Take down that photo. <laughs> I'm going to add some emojis. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <gasps> you are not posting that. Oh, yes, I am. Hey, what, what are you doing? Show me. No way. I am still posting this. Give me your phone, Crystal Star. Ow, watch it. You stepped on my foot and almost made me drop my phone. Well, then delete that photo. No way, Jose. Give me the phone. Nope. Dad! Uh, give me the phone. No way. This is too good. How you can't get it? Yoink. Oh my goodness, I just got you that phone last year for your birthday. How long is your mother going to take? Girls, please, please stop fighting. Girls, please. Oh, jeez. Give me the phone. No way. Girls, stop running back and forth, please. You're giving me a headache. Oh, at least your little sister is enjoying it. Give me the phone, Crystal Star. If you post that, I am never going to forgive you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Crystal Star, come back. No, I am so posting this as revenge. Crystal Star, just delete the photo if your sister doesn't like it. And Uptown Girl, it was not nice of you to take a picture of Crystal Star on the toilet. Ah, I'm going to add an extra emoji. Are you girls even listening to me? I hate you so much right now. <laughs> is it funny? Oh geez, I guess the good side to this is that your little sister is not crying. I guess this morning you're not the most mischievous and naughty one. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick scan. Is that going to hurt? <laughs> no, it's not gonna hurt. It again might just tickle. <laughs> See, it just tickles, right? Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt. Can you see what's inside my tummy from doing this? That's so cool. What is inside my stomach? Whoa, technology these days is amazing. You can literally see what's inside my daughter's stomach. I see her bones and her lungs. Wow, it's so clear. Oh yes, here at the Barbie Hospital, we have the latest technology so we can really scan for almost everything and luckily, I don't see anything that is concerning in your daughter's stomach at this time. Ah! Hey, hey, that, that really tickles! Hey, hey! Um, just out of curiosity, what would happen if she, say, did swallow a coin or a toy? Uh -oh. oh, that would not be good. A penny, a coin, something small, hopefully it will just uh, make its way through the child's digestive system. But if it gets stuck along the way, then ugh. <gasps> say no more, say no more. I know where you're getting at. Then we'll probably have to cancel our vacation, cancel our flight, and spend the rest of the week in this hospital. Oh no, I hope that doesn't happen. <gasps> what? Cancel our vacation, not get on the plane, and spend a week at the hospital? Oh my goodness. 
Ah, uh, please calm down, please calm down. There is nothing to be worried about yet. Um, I was just saying that that is a possibility, but based on the current scan, it doesn't look like she's eaten anything else. <sighs> oh my god, that literally scared me to death. I literally felt my soul left my body. That almost gave me a heart attack, doctor. <sighs> Please, please don't let us find anything in my little sister's stomach. Good news, it looks like I didn't find anything else in your daughter's body. As you can see, there is no coins and nothing stuck in there, so we are good. Whew. One time mommy was doing a scan like this and we found a Spongebob toy in another little girl's stomach. Yes, and that is exactly what we want to avoid and what we don't want to happen. A Spongebob toy? Why would you eat a Spongebob toy? If you eat your own toy, then you won't have any toys to play with. That's just silly. That silly? Says the girl that ate five worms covered in dirt because she thought they were chocolate. And we spent three hours waiting in the emergency ER room just to see a doctor. Well, the next time when mom tells you to watch me, maybe you should really watch me. Okay, I got the medicine in here. So I'm just going to give you a shot. I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible. But the shot will absolutely help your stomach and make you feel better. <gasps> what? A shot? No, I don't like needles. No, I feel better already. Oh, sweetheart, I know needles can seem scary, but this will help you feel better and allow you to get on the plane. And you have to feel better if you want to travel and go on the plane. I promise I'll be as quick and gentle as possible. No! Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, Kirsten. I'm here. I know you're scared and I understand. I'm scared of needles too and I'm your big sister. So of course I know how you feel. But this will make you feel better. Why don't you hold my hand and we'll get through this together, okay? We want to make sure you feel better for our trip. Oh, I'm like going to the hospital. How am I seeing a doctor? Because doctors give needle shots. I'm never going to eat any more worms again. Not even gummy worms. Yeah, well, you can eat gummy worms or candy worms or chocolate worms. Just don't eat the worms outside in the yard. Anything that has dirt or tastes yucky, don't eat those. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand and I'll be here for you, okay? Okay, maybe you don't need a shot. I'll just hold this needle right here. Mm, Kirsten, what did you do this morning? What did you have for breakfast? Um, tell me about your morning. I woke up and then mommy made us breakfast and then I got changed. Did you change into this outfit yourself or did your mommy help you? Don't tell me you picked this outfit out yourself. Mama, uh -huh. I picked this outfit all by myself. I always pick my clothes by myself in the morning. Just like Big Sister picks her outfit. Ah! Hey! All done, all done. See, that was so quick and easy and painless. You were telling such a wonderful story and I just quickly gave you the needle shot. It didn't hurt, right? <laughs> oh, don't cry, Kirsten. You're okay, you're okay. You're such a big girl now. You took that needle shot and you didn't cry at all. You're even more brave than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> You tricked me. That was a trick. Oh my, someone is a little mad with me now. Oh my god, yay, Kirsten! Yay, you took that shot and didn't cry at all. My baby, you are growing up so fast. I am so proud. And hopefully your stomach ache will go away and you can eat something later so that we can get on the plane. Don't be mad at the doctor, Kirsten. She's just doing her job. And besides, don't you feel better already? Did your stomach ache go away? And then later, we can eat your favorite food. What do you want to eat later? I do feel better already. Oh, I want to eat McDonald's. Oh, I just feel so relieved that you feel better already. Honey, you can eat whatever you want. Really? I can eat McDonald's? Then I want a 
cheeseburger, and then french fries, and then chicken nuggets, and then an apple pie, and then ice cream, and then a sundae ice cream. Oh my, that sounds like a lot of food for a little girl. Um, you can eat McDonald's, but maybe not all of that in one go, because then you might get yourself another stomach ache. Now, I don't normally do this, but you've been so brave. So, I will let you pick a toy here from my gift shop. You can pick anything you want free of charge. This is going to be a, a special gift to you because you've been such a good little patient of mine. Um, come and pick whatever toy you like, sweetie. Wow, look at all those teddy bears! I can pick any teddy bear I want! Yay! Yes, I just started this gift shop, so I'm trying to gain some customers. For today, you can pick any teddy bear you want as a gift. I don't like going to the hospital because you wait for hours and hours and it's so boring and you get a needle shop, but now I get a toy. Uh, which one do I want? They're all so pretty. I don't know. Uh, do I want this one or this one? They're all so fluffy and cute. I can't decide. Um, okay. I think I'll take this one, please. I really like pandas. And this one is really fluffy and cute. She has a cute scarf. And her scarf is pink. And pink is my favorite color. I think I'm going to name her Bella. Bella the panda. Okay, well, Bella is yours. You can take Bella home as long as you promise to never eat any more worms that you find outside or any stuff that's not food. Mm, but what if I find candy outside? Can I eat candy or chocolate I find outside? No, it's best not to eat anything you find outside. Only eat food that your family gives you. Will you make that promise? So if I promise not to eat any more worms or anything I find outside, I can take Bella home with me? Yes. Do we have a deal? Shall we pinky swear? Cross your heart and hope to die. Poke a needle in your eye. This is a promise. That's not how you say it. It's you make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, I throw you on the ice. Oh my. Well, as long as we have a deal. So we have a promise, okay? Okay. Thank you, doctor. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for us today. My mommy is one of the best doctors in this hospital. Everybody likes my mommy and everyone who comes to see her always says that she's a really good doctor. I can see that and I can see why you would want to be a doctor just like your mommy. And I'm sure when you grow up and become a doctor, you'll be a great doctor just like your mommy. She should be feeling better already, but just in case, I do have some medicine here for you. Just give her a dose of this after a meal, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, thank you so much, doctor. We're gonna need this on the airplane in case she gets a stomach ache or an upset stomach again. We don't want her puking on the plane. <gasps> that would be disastrous. Can we have more than just one bottle? Maybe we need like five, no, 10, or maybe a hundred, just to be safe and make sure. Huh, that's actually a good idea, Crystal Star. I mean, thank you so much for this bottle of medicine, but what if we need more than just this bottle in case she really starts feeling sick on the plane? Hmm, she's a tiny little girl, so I think that should be enough for her. Oh my gosh, please, I do not want to take any risks. It would be horrible if she picked the whole plane ride. Uh, all right, all right. How about I write you a prescription? Here is a prescription for another bottle, but just one more. That's it, okay? You can take this down to the pharmacy and give it to them, and they'll give you another bottle. Just make sure that she takes it with a full stomach, otherwise she might get an upset stomach. Oh, no. Here you go, here's your prescription, you can go down to the pharmacy. Oh, what time is it? Oh my gosh, look at the time! We better get going, we still need to go home and make sure our luggage are packed. 
It has been such a long day, but thank you, thank you again so much, doctor. We are just running behind. Is there anything else that you need to do? Otherwise, we really have to get going. We really have a plane to catch. Um, no, we're done here. Everything is done. Your daughter should be feeling better now. I do feel better. And she should be okay to be on an airplane. Have a nice, safe trip. Thank you, thank you. I really hope so too. I hope nothing crazy happens on the plane. <laughs> Last time I was on the airplane, I made a lot of snowmen and I made it snow. Really? <laughs> it can snow on the plane? I hope it snows later on the plane then. It doesn't snow on plane, silly. Plane is inside. There's no snow. But I made it snow and I made snowmen because I have magical snow power. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, my little chatterbug, we really need to get going here. Bye-bye! Thank you for making me feel better! You're very welcome. I hope you feel better. Have a nice and safe trip. Enjoy your vacation. Bye! It was really nice meeting you. Make sure that you don't eat any more worms. Unless they're gummy worms or candy worms, then it's okay. Thank you so much again. It was really nice meeting you. Come on, honey, we need to go. I am right behind you, Mom. Bye now. I hope nothing crazy happens on their flight. Mm -hmm. At least the weather is nice, even though I'm not looking forward to this trip at all, uh -oh. since I happen to have pink eye today. <laughs> Ow! Why are you always closing the door in my face? <laughs> A little help would have been nice. I had to carry our shared luggage all by myself. It's pretty heavy, you know. I can use a little help over here. Sis? Hmm? Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I would love to help, but I can't today because, you know, I'm sick. Yeah, nice try there. I don't think laziness is a sickness. Come on, help me already. You know how heavy this luggage is? I know you're not sick. Whatever do you mean, sis? <coughs> See, I am so sick. I can't, I can't carry it. Could you please just carry the luggage yourself? Okay, stop faking it. Those coughs aren't even real. I can tell when you're faking it, you know. And no, I'm not going to carry this luggage myself. Help me already. I can't. I'm sick. I have pink eye, remember? <coughs> no need to fight, girls. We're going to put the luggage into the trunk anyways. How many luggages do you have? Well, Mom said we have to share this large luggage, but we each also have a big bag as well. What? Did your mom approve of this? I don't think those count as carry-ons on the airplane. I think your backpack's too big, girls. Uh -oh. oh, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. Please, Dad, the luggage wasn't big enough for the both of us. Please put our bags into the trunk. Oh man, girls, I don't want to have to say yes and then later get in trouble with your mom. Did you not ask your mother? Oh, girls, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. That should be everything. I think I know what I want to pack on this family vacation. It's really warm where we live, especially since we live by the ocean. But where we're going on this trip, I'm going to need to pack myself a jacket. Especially because there's going to be snow and we're going to go skiing. Goodbye sunshine and beach and hello cold and snow. I am however going to miss my sewing machine and my fashion table. And this is my side of the room. It's black because my favorite color is black these days. Uptown girl, you've been really weird lately. I can't believe you changed your side of the room to black. You used to like pink. It's like we're like black pink now. My side is completely pink because pink is my favorite color. Well, my side is black because my favorite color is black. And all my clothes are gonna be black from now on. So I got everything. Okay, I got tops, jeans, I got a jacket. I don't know if I need sunglasses, maybe. If it was up to me, I would pack even more clothes, but we can't on this trip because mom is making us share a luggage, which is totally unfair. How is both of our stuff supposed to fit into this small little luggage here? It's simply just not possible, and it's so unfair. <laughs> it's a large size luggage, but still. 
I don't know how I'm gonna fit all my clothes in there either, but we'll try. I just feel like there's not enough room for the two of us. Uh -oh. Hey look, there's no news in complaining and whining. Mom said so, so we just have to deal with it and figure out something together. Okay, but it has to be fair, okay? I want to make sure that I get to bring all the stuff that I want too. Show me what you're bringing then. Alright, I got a sweater. And I got some jeans. I also got a nice a big winter jacket. And some shoes. And some boots. These are the items that I'm taking with me. Show me what are you taking, Uptown Girl. Remember, we can't pack too much stuff either because we want to be able to buy some souvenirs and stuff. So don't bring too much stuff. I'm bringing a light jacket, a cute little tee, another jacket just in case I get cold. I have another larger tee and a hat, of course, along with some high boots and some low boots. Okay, fine. Let's start organizing all of our stuff into the luggage. The luggage is literally full. These pink glittery glasses or these cool shades? Which sunglasses do you think I should take on this trip? You know how much I love wearing sunglasses. Ah! Excuse me, what? You want to bring even more stuff? Look how big your jacket is. The luggage is completely full with all your stuff right now. And why do you even need sunglasses? I don't know. What if I want to wear sunglasses one of these days? Why can't I bring just one? Because, hello, the suitcase is already full and I haven't even put my stuff in yet. We're supposed to be sharing, Crystal Star. Oh, well, we can share. I can just bring one sunglasses and we can share it, huh? Huh? Yeah, right. No, thank you. Nice try. And besides, you know I don't like pink anymore. My new favorite color now is black. So, no sunglasses and take out some stuff so that my stuff can fit in here too. Seriously, how can you say no to this? Oh my god, are you even listening to me right now? No means no crystal star. No! Actually, when we count the stuff, you actually have more items than me, so I should be able to bring these. Wait, what? No, that is so unfair. Your jacket is like five stuff because it's a huge jacket. You know what? I was being nice earlier and I was asking you to pick which sunglasses for me to bring. But since you're being such a party pooper, I'm just gonna bring all my favorite sunglasses. Ha! How you like that? <gasps> you wouldn't dare! That's not fair, Crystal Star. We're supposed to be sharing. This is why I hate sharing with you. I haven't even put my stuff into the luggage yet and already it's completely full. I guess you snooze, you lose. And besides, I'm older, so I obviously need more stuff since I was born first and I've lived longer. What does that even have to do with anything? I'm bringing you my sunglasses. End of discussion. No, you're not. I'm putting my stuff in. Take some of your stuff out. Girls, girls, what is going on? You have always been so selfish. Nuh-uh, you're literally the selfish one. Oh my goodness, girls, what's going on here? I can hear you girls arguing all the way down from the hallway. What's going on? Are you done packing already? Can we actually do any tasks without a fight? It's not my fault, Mom. Crystal Star is being so unfair. I can't even put my stuff into the luggage now. Uh, that's not true. She can still put her stuff into the luggage. We don't know that it won't close. We haven't tried closing it yet. Plus, she even packed more stuff than me and she's complaining. I'm just trying to be fair. That's why I'm picking one more item to match hers. Oh man, girls, our trip is tomorrow. Can we please just pack without making it into a big fight? But mom, look, look! All of Crystal Star's stuff is inside the luggage. It's already full. I don't even have space to put my stuff in. That's enough, girls. I've heard enough. You girls are going to have to figure this out yourself, whether it's taking out some stuff, Crystal Star, or putting less stuff in, Uptown Girl. Uh -oh. But mom, why can't we just have our own luggage? Yeah, can't we just like not share? Look, it doesn't even fit once I put in my stuff, see? Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna fit. 
just look at that. There's already way too much stuff. Honestly, I am speechless. Just speechless. How can you girls have this much stuff? It's not that much stuff. My stuff are super light. I didn't even bring a big jacket or anything. Come on, Mom. Tell Crystal Star to take out her big pink furry jacket. It's taking up way too much space in the luggage. Can't you girls just find a compromise? Crystal Star, don't you have any other jacket that's a little bit smaller? And also, can you just take out one item from your options, please, Uptown Girl? No, Mom, it's not fair. I need that jacket. I don't want to catch a cold on this trip. I mean, the jacket looks really warm and everything, but I don't think it's good for skiing. It's gonna be cold. I need two jackets, Mom. Okay, then can you pack one less t-shirt or one less hat or something? No, Mom! Come on, be on my side! No, Mom's on my side! Ugh, that's it, that's it! I am not on anybody's side here. I am completely neutral. You girls are going to have to talk this through and figure it out yourself. Or tomorrow, I'm giving you an even smaller luggage. What? No, that's so unfair! Look, girls, the less you bring, the more souvenirs you can buy. So why don't you take some stuff out together so that you have more space in your luggage? Um, fine. Guess we'll have to. My goodness, if only we can go through one day without anyone fighting. All this fighting back and forth here has given me such a bad headache. I'm gonna go lie down. If you see Daisy, make sure that your little sister also packs for tomorrow's trip. And girls, again, figure it out. Man, this vacation cannot come soon enough. I just wish tomorrow would come already. I seriously need a vacation. <sighs> I'm just gonna rest. Why won't you close? Come on, luggage, close. Hey, why are you just lying there? Aren't you gonna help me? Come on, help me close the luggage. Oh, no, I think I'm good. I'm gonna rest and like take a nap. Seriously, are you kidding me right now? How am I supposed to get this luggage to close on my own? Okay, guys, I don't think I can close the luggage this way. There's too much stuff, so let's take out some of my sister's stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yoink. Off, 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 and that should be okay. I think I'll be able to close the luggage now. Shh, be really quiet. My sister Uptown Girl doesn't know what I've just done. I did it. I finally got the luggage to close with all my stuff inside. Oh, Uptown Girl's still asleep. Before she wakes up, I better get rid of all the evidence. Uh -oh. Where should I put her clothes? Ha! Okay, I'm gonna put it under the bed. Squeeze all her clothes under the bed. Um, um. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. I thought she was waking up. Okay, I still have some time. I'm gonna hide all her clothes under my bed so that she doesn't find out. <laughs> There, now she thinks that my stuff and her stuff are inside the luggage. All right, gonna put the luggage aside. I'll put it here. Mom, I'm gonna go in your closet for just a little bit. Since Crystal Star borrowed a scarf from you, I'm just gonna borrow a jacket from you. I don't have any jackets to wear for our trip, so I'm gonna borrow one of yours. Mom has a lot of nice clothes. She must have a nice jacket that I can borrow. Oh my goodness, what is all of this dirt on the floor? Usually mom's closet is super clean. Why is it so dirty today? <gasps> Ew, gross! I stepped on something. Gross, my foot is so dirty now. I'm gonna have to go wash it later. Ooh, has mom not been washing her clothes or something? Oh my gosh, why are some of the stuff in here so gross looking? Oh my goodness, I hope the jackets are clean because if they're dirty, then how am I supposed to borrow them? Ooh. Okay, what can I borrow? Hmm, there's so many options to choose from. Let's rotate mom's closet so we can see what jackets are available for me to pick from here. 
mom's closet is so cool. Hmm, I don't see anything black. I want a black jacket. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> that is so funny! You fell on your bum bum! <laughs> Ow! I can't believe I got so scared I fell. Oh, that was such a hard fall too. Oh, gross. And on this floor? <laughs> that was really funny. But I'm sorry that I made you fall, the uptown girl. Oh, oh. Daisy. It was just a little joke. Don't be mad. And don't tell mom I'm here. I'm hiding right now. Oh, I really fell on my butt hard. Ow. So sore. <sighs> That was not funny, Daisy. You could have given me a heart attack. And besides, what are you even doing in Mom's closet? I live here now. Mom wants to give me a bath again. And I don't want to take a bath, so I ran away. Oh my god, Daisy. You are always so much trouble. I don't think running away counts when you're hiding in a closet. Well, I was really gonna run away, but then, but then it's so dark outside, so I got scared, so now I live in Mom's closet. You didn't see me. Well, I guess that explains why Mom's closet is a huge mess right now. Just look at all this dirt on the floor. Like, what did you do? Why is there so much sand? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Daisy, please come down from there. This is ridiculous. Mom's gonna find you sooner or later. You can't live in a closet. I can too. I'm gonna stay here forever and then I'll never have to take another bath again. Daisy, don't be ridiculous. Come down from there right now, please. Still firm on staying inside Mom's closet, huh? Well, you're lucky because I brought you something. I got you your favorite tuna sandwiches, some orange slices, and here's some kiwi juice. <gasps> Thanks, Crystal Star! You're the bestest! I was getting kind of hungry. Yeah, well, I thought I would bring you some food so that you won't get hungry and stay up all night bothering us later. What? What? Crystal Star, you knew she was in here the whole time and you didn't like to say anything? Why didn't you try to get her out? It's ridiculous that she's in the closet. Okay, you be my guest, okay? If you think you can get her out, then you try. You know how stubborn Daisy can get when she's up to mischief. I can't convince her to come out. You can try if you want. I'm never coming out. You cannot make me come out. I live here now. Hmm, hmm. See what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess so, you're right. Uh -oh. You know, when she gets into this mood of hers, it's pretty much impossible to convince her otherwise. I can't use my hands to eat. Can you please feed me, Crystal Star? I can't believe this, the shenanigans that my little sister gets up to. Now we have to feed you too. Uh, it's so hard to resist her though because she's just so cute. But she's always up to no good. Uptown girl, hold the plate for me for a bit so that I can give Daisy something to drink. Kiwi! Kiwi juice, please! I'm so thirsty! That's what happens when you live in a closet. Here, Daisy. A higher, higher! It's too low! I be so thirsty! Mm. <laughs> <sighs> More! <laughs> Wow, you're drinking a lot. Is it that good? Let's see. It is pretty good. Tuna, tuna, sandwich now, sandwich now, please. You really make the best tuna sandwiches. Here, Daisy, here's the other half. Have some more. Finish it all, please. Higher. When you're hungry. Mm. Chew slowly. Don't choke now. Honestly, sometimes I think mom and dad spoils her a little too much. But when I think about it, we also spoil Daisy as well. Look what we're doing now. We're letting her do whatever she wants and we're even feeding her. Is it sour? I don't like sour. Nah, it should be sweet. Mm, okay, if it's sweet. I don't like sour. Mm. 
really sour. What? It's not sour. I had some earlier. It's pretty sweet, the one I had. Mm. It's so sweet. Are you sure the one I ate just now was so sour? And you know I don't like sour oranges. I like sweet. Here, let me get you another piece. Maybe that one was a one-off. Here, this one is sweet, I'm sure. Are you sure? You promise? Mm. 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 This one is sweet. I like this one. I can't believe even in this situation you're a picky eater. Our little sister is a super picky eater. She's always causing trouble during dinner time. Mom, mom, mom. Thirsty, thirsty. More kiwi juice, please. Crystal star. I'm thirsty. Okay, okay, give me a minute. Oh, my arms are so tired having to reach up there. <laughs> Wow, you must have been super thirsty, or I made this really well. Let me try. Oh, that is pretty good. Daisy, there's still some left. Do you want more? No, thank you. I'm full now. Now I'm gonna go back to living in Mom's closet. Uptown girl, Crystal Star, are you girls in here? What the jippers? Why is the floor so dirty? Girls, what's going on here? <gasps> oh no, mom's here! Oh, better hide! Oh my god, what is going on here? There's sand all over the floor. It is filthy in my closet now. Girls, what's going on here? What are you doing in here? Oh, mom! Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just gonna borrow a jacket. And I didn't bring in the sand. <gasps> mom! Um, nothing. We're not doing anything in here that's suspicious at all. <laughs> right. My mother intuition tells me that something is going on here. Come on, girls. Fess up. What's going on? <gasps> nothing. Nothing. We're just hanging out in your closet. <sighs> Somehow, something tells me this isn't nothing. See, when you have four kids, it's never a dull moment. Anyways, girls, have you seen your little sister Daisy? She needs to take a bath, but I've been looking everywhere. I can't seem to find her anywhere. Nope, haven't seen Daisy. No idea where she is. Not like she's over there somewhere. You know, like right over there somewhere here. Oh, have you been looking for Daisy? Why, it's not like she might be over there somewhere. You know, somewhere up there. You know, over to my left there. <laughs> what? Is this a riddle or something? Come on, girl. Seriously, it's getting late. I need to give Daisy a bath. Have you seen your little sister anywhere? Um, well... <coughs> <coughs> over... <coughs> oh my gosh, girls. Aren't we getting too old for this? <sighs> Are we playing a riddle together right now at night? Okay, what is it? What are you girls looking at? What's over there? Do I even want to know? Oh my gosh, look how dirty the floor is. We are going to have to vacuum and clean up my closet before we go on our trip. Okay, what's over here? What do you girls want me to find in here? Hi! Oh, oh my god, Daisy! You gave me a fright, young lady. What are you doing hiding in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. I'm not Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Oh, was that a heart attack there? Oh, no. Yeah, Mom, she's been hiding in your closet. And I think the sand came from her because she was playing in the sandbox earlier, she said. She's been hiding here for hours now. What? She went back into the sandbox after I've already given her a bath earlier? Oh, Daisy. And Crystal Star, you knew your little sister was in here the entire time and you didn't even tell me? Well, well, she told me not to and I don't want to be a tattletale. It's not our fault, Mom. We didn't make this mess. Daisy made it all by herself. I'm just as innocent as you are. I didn't know she was in here. I just found out just a moment ago, just before you. 
Mm -hmm. Somehow, I feel like you've known a little longer than just a few moments ago. Crystal Star Uptown Girl, your little sister is younger, she doesn't know better, but you have to tell me these things if you know she's doing this. Oh, rats. Our little sister always does something naughty, and then somehow we always end up getting in trouble for it for her. All right, young lady, it is time to come down from there. No, I don't want to come down. I live here. Daisy, come on. Let's come down. It is time for a bath. You are filthy, young lady. No, Mama, I want a bath. You can't make me. No. Oh, don't cry, Daisy. It's just a bath. It'll be a quick bath, okay? You definitely need a bath because you're so dirty and it's time for you to go to bed, young lady. Come on, honey. It's bath time. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. Why are you crying? You love bubble baths. I don't want to have a bubble bath. I don't want to. Oh, come here, sweetie. You're going to feel so much better after a bath and then you can go to sleep. Otherwise, you're going to feel really itchy and uncomfortable. No, I won't. I want to have another bath because I already had a bath today. You did already have a bath earlier today, but I don't know how you managed to get yourself so dirty again. Well, after the bath, I went outside to play in the sandbox again, and I had some strawberry cake, so it's only a little bit of sand. Daisy, you cannot get into bed like this. You're going to dirty your bed. I just washed your bed sheets too. You are taking a bath, young lady, and that's final. This is not a negotiation. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. I'm going to run away from home forever. Daisy, I don't know why we do this every time. As soon as you get into the bubble baths, you start having a lot of fun. You love baths. Nuh-uh. I'm allergic to water. I hate baths. <laughs> oh, I guess that's too bad because you are getting a bath before bed regardless tonight. Now first, let's brush your teeth. It's getting late. Let's get ready for bed. We really have to brush your teeth well because the last time we went to the dentist, you had quite a bit of cavities. Uh -oh. That's because ice cream and chocolate and, and cakes are my favorite food to eat. I can eat that all day long, Mommy. Oh, I don't doubt it. I know you can. I really should put a lock and monitor your snack intake. Oh my goodness, how did she crawl under there? Daisy, please get out of there. Let's not make this harder than it really should be. Uh oh. Daisy? <laughs> no! Oh goodness gracious. Daisy, we have a family trip tomorrow and mom's super tired. Please come out, sweetheart. I'm gonna give you to the count of three. If you don't come out, you're going to get time out, young lady. <gasps> no, no time out, mommy. I'm coming out. That would be a wise decision. All right, let's give you a lot of toothpaste to really brush those teeth. Now hold still, please. Okay. Almost done, almost done. Open wide. Okay, okay, now at the bottom. Okay, okay, we're done, we're done. That's it. See? Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, let's turn on some water. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. Oh, that's a little cold. All right, now let's wash your toothbrush. Really rinse all that toothpaste off. And we'll put it back. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Here, spit out the toothpaste. <laughs> okay, and now rinse your mouth. Okay, good. Now that you've brushed your teeth, you can go to bed after we give you a bath. Eh, see, my teeth are nice and clean now. Maybe I don't need a bath anymore. Oh my daisy, your face. Oh goodness, we're gonna need some soap. Really wash your face. Uh, <laughs> it tickles. Hold 
still, please? Okay, and then just on your nose. <laughs> Not in my eye! You gotta get soap in my eyes! I will be careful, don't worry. Okay, now let's rinse that face over here. There, that's so much better. Now I can really see your pretty face. I think I got soap in my eyes. How am I going to get soap in my eyes? Hold on, hold on. Let me get your towel here. Okay, we'll just dab it here. <laughs> uh, in my eye. Okay, hold still, sweetheart. Is it here? Okay, let me wipe your face. Nice and dry. Oh, uh, like washing my face. Water always gets into my eye and I don't like that. That's also why I hate baths. I promise I will be super careful when I'm washing your hair tonight to make sure that you don't get any shampoo or water in your eyes. I will try my best, okay? Okay. All right. Not, not too hot and not too cold, Mommy. And, and lots of bubbles, lots and lots of bubbles. Okay, I know, I know. It's not my first rodeo. Let's turn on the bath water here and make sure the water is not too hot and not too cold because Daisy is very particular. Okay, let me adjust the temperature. Woo! I think that's just right. It should be hot enough because I want the bath water to stay hot enough for the entire bath time. Hmm, maybe this is a bit too hot. Now for the bubble bath soap. You can even pour the whole bottle in. Pour it all in. Yeah, no, we are not doing that. And I don't want you touching the bubble bath soap, Daisy, and pouring it in yourself. Because remember the last time you did that and the bathtub overflowed with bubbles? <gasps> oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was so funny. The whole bathroom was full of bubbles. Yeah, well, it was not very funny for your sisters and I because we actually had to clean up the entire mess. So no touching the bubble bath soap, young lady. Okay, I think that should be enough. Oops, that might even be a bit too much. There's a lot of bubbles now, almost overflowing the bathtub. All right, then that's good enough. Okay, your bath is ready here, miss. <gasps> Yes, they're very nice and fluffy tonight. See? And they're perfect for you to jump right in. Come on, jump right into the bubble bath, you daisy, please. Okay, I'm coming. One more step. Ha! <laughs> Some shampoo. Let's wash your hair here. It's been through a lot today. And we'll use a lot of shampoo. Daisy, if you don't want me to get shampoo in your eye, please hold still. Ah, it tickles! Ah, no, I don't like it when people touch my hair. Well, you have to wash your hair. Oh goodness, it is so messy and dirty. Ah, I'm gonna get in my eye! It's not gonna get in your eye. Just hold still, please, and it won't. Ah, are you done, Mom? <laughs> it's taking too long. Okay, okay, I'm almost done. Hold still. Oh, I'm going. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Oh goodness, she hid in the bubble bath. Daisy, come out here, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daisy, you gave me a fright there just now. And just look, my shirt is all wet now. Oh, giving Daisy a bath is never easy. Bedtime is literally a struggle every night. Good mommy, I rinsed up all the soap all by myself from going into the water. See? Uh -oh. oh my god, well at least something good actually came from that. But Daisy, please do not do that again, young lady. Now can you just please give yourself a bath peacefully? Look mom what I can do. When I wave my arms and go like push like this, it splashes. Look! Oh gosh. Oh no, Daisy, you're getting water everywhere. 
thank goodness the bath towel absorbs all the water. Whoa! Daisy, please stop splashing. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all this water. <laughs> Daisy, young lady, no splashing, okay. please. You're going to get the whole bathroom completely covered in water. Uh, it's more fun when I can splash the water. Well, it's not fun cleaning it up, so please don't splash any more water. <laughs> Mom, the baby's crying. Oh goodness, what now? Um, sweetheart, can you please try to soothe your baby sister? I'm just in the middle of giving Daisy a bath right now. But mom, I've already tried my best. I changed her diaper and she's still crying. Crystal Star tried to give her some food, but she won't eat anything. Oh, she's crying even louder now, mom. We need your help. Oh my molly golly, having four kids is not easy. All right, all right, I will go check on your newborn baby sister, but could you please stay here to watch over Daisy? You know how Daisy is. If we leave her in here by herself, she's going to cause some sort of trouble. Uh, do I have to? Why don't I go call Crystal Star? Uh, I'll call Crystal Star. Why don't you ask Crystal Star to help Daisy? Crystal Star! Oh, I seriously need a vacation right now. Good thing that our flight is tomorrow. Uptown girl, please, we don't have the time for this. I need you to stay here and watch over your little sister Daisy for just a little bit so that I can tend to your newborn baby sister. Oh my god, seriously, why me? Oh, I regret coming in here and asking for mom now. Oh mom, seriously, do I really have to, please? No. Darling, we don't have much time. We need to all get ready for bed. What time is it? Oh my goodness, look at the time. We have a flight to catch tomorrow morning, so I don't have the time to argue back and forth right now. Uptown girl, please help me watch over your little sister, Daisy. Isn't she like two now or something? I think she's old enough to like take a bath by herself now. I don't think she needs me. She'll be fine on her own. Oh, absolutely not. You know how your little sister is. If we take our eye off of her for just a minute, she's gonna be out there causing trouble. Just watch her for a few minutes. I'm going to go out there and check on your newborn baby sister. Maybe she's hungry or something, and I'll be right back. I promise. Oh my gosh, watching over Daisy is a nightmare because she does cause a lot of problems and trouble. Hey, I can hear you from here. I don't cause any trouble, I'm a good girl. Please, sweetheart, I really need your help. Just watch over your little sister for a little bit for me while I go check on your newborn baby sister. Okay, okay, uh, I'll watch over Daisy. Don't worry. Fine, 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 I'll do it. I just hope she won't cause any trouble this time. Thanks, sweetie. Daisy, no splashing and please go easy on your big sister. Don't cause her any trouble. And if Daisy doesn't listen to you, then you let me know, okay? Alright, Uptown Girl, thank you so much for watching over Daisy. I will go check on the newborn baby now. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Alright, I'll just sit here and watch you. Go take your bath. Look what I can do! I can splash even bigger with two arms! Daisy, mom said no splashing. Come here, I'll just give you a quick wash and get you out of this bath. Ah, you're getting soap in my eyes! Soap in my eyes! <laughs> Shh! Oh my gosh! Daisy, be quiet please! I don't want to get in trouble! Mom's gonna come in and think I did something to you! Okay, fine, fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> really? Like, can I splash water? <laughs> like this? No. <laughs> I can go inside and, and hide under the water. ta <laughs> And look what I can do! <gasps> oh my god, Daisy, don't spray water out of your mouth. Oh, you got water everywhere. Oh, this is crazy. You are always up to no good. Hey, I need more water. Oh my god, you got water everywhere. Oh, there's puddles and puddles of water all over the floor. 
see, this is not what I meant when I said you could do whatever you want. Especially now that there's water all over the floor. Oh gosh, now I'm going to be the one having to clean this all up. <laughs> it's so much fun. No, it's not. If you keep doing this, I'm going to call mom in here and tell her that you're splashing. <laughs> okay, okay, don't. I'll stop. Oh, why, you better. Look at the mess that you made. Look at the bathroom floor. It's covered in puddles of water that I now have to clean up. Oh, Daisy. And I can't believe you spat out water everywhere even after Mom said not to splash. Yeah, but I didn't splash, though. I sprayed water with my mouth. That's not splashing. Uh... Oh, my goodness. You little smarty pants. You found a loophole. Okay, it's the same thing anyways. It means no getting the bathroom floor completely soaked with water. Oh, I didn't know it wasn't the same thing. I'm only two. Well, now that I know, I'll stop. But, but, but don't tell mom, okay? I'm sorry. Don't tell mommy. Oh, fine. Just stop spraying water, splashing water, or pretty much anything that gets the floor wet. I'm going to go get a mop and clean this up then. Yay! You're the bestest big sister ever, Uptown Girl! <sighs> well, make sure you wait right here, don't go anywhere, and please don't cause any more trouble. I'll be right back with a mop. <laughs> Looks like I'm all by myself in this big washroom. <laughs> You need a bubble bath. Come on, Nemo. Let's go. 
before the water gets cold and there's still a lot of bubbles right now. Let's give you a bath. Bye, Nemo. It was nice knowing you. Oh, Nemo. Bye. Daisy, is everything okay in here? I saw you running back and forth a lot. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Big Sister. I just brought all the fish in. I'm giving them a bubble bath. Oh, my God. What? Oh, what are all of our fish doing in the bathroom? Daisy, you can't give fish a bubble bath. Oh, gosh. Why? They're probably dirty from swimming around all day. Oh my goodness, I am so glad that I follow my intuition and I came in here to check on my little sister. Okay, Nemo, you're the first to go in. Oh my gosh, no, 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 Daisy, no. You can't throw Nemo in the bubble bath water or he'll die. Fish cannot go into a bubble bath. Really? Why? Isn't he dirty? Should we give him a bath to make him nice and clean? Oh my gosh, no, no, Daisy. Fish cannot be put into bubble bath water or they'll die. <gasps> it means if I put Nemo into the bathtub that he'll die? I don't want him to die. I almost killed Nemo. Oh my god, yeah, that was really a close one. Good thing I came in here and checked up on you just in the nick of time. And I can't believe you got our entire aquarium in the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Okay, Daisy, why don't we collect all of our fish, friend, and put them back into the big fish tank. They can stay clean in their fish tank all by themselves, plus they swim around in water all day, so that keeps them nice and clean. And the fish tank is their home, and we shouldn't be taking the fish out of their home. But it's a good thing that I hadn't put Nemo in the bath water, otherwise he would have died, and I would have been really sad because Nemo and I are very close friends. That would have been a big mistake. Yes, so why don't we take all of our fish friends and put them back into the big fish tank where they can live and be happy. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness, all of our fish are here. I bet our fish tank is completely empty. How did you even manage this? Okay, let's go put these back one by one. I'm sure they're terrified and super stressed right now and they probably miss home. Oh, look at all of these fish. It wasn't easy. I carried them myself one by one. Okay, let's take them back home. Oh, I'm back. I finally found the mop. Uh, now you're back. Uptown girl, you're back. Yeah, I couldn't find the mop anywhere, so it took me a while. <gasps> oh my god, why are all of our fish in the bathroom? I took them from our aquarium fish tank because I wanted to give the fish a bubble bath. <gasps> oh my god, Daisy, you did what now? Yeah, weren't you supposed to be watching over Daisy? Oh, I saw her running back and forth and I was like, what is she doing? So I came in here to check on her right before she was about to throw Nemo into the bubble bath. I came here in the nick of time to save all of our fish. Oh my gosh, I only stepped out for just like a little bit. Look at the floor. It's full of puddles everywhere because she just kept splashing and spitting water out. Oh, and then I leave for just a couple of minutes and I come back to this. Oh, Daisy. And this is exactly why mom always tells us to keep an eye on Daisy. She'll always find a way to cause some sort of trouble. See, you should have stayed here and watched her. I don't know. How was I supposed to know? I didn't think she'd be able to do anything bad in just a few minutes. But I guess I have to be more careful in the future because clearly she can. Ugh, whatever. Jeez, just like be more careful next time, will you? You're lucky that this time I was here to save you. Otherwise, all of our fish would have been dead. Come on, Daisy. Let's put all the fish back into the fish tank. Okay. Ooh, is it getting a little smoky? Uh -oh. I know, I know. Don't worry. I just turned on the fan so the smoke is going to clear up soon. Oh, man. Look at the weather outside. It's a super nice day. Can't believe we're gonna be spending our day sitting on an airplane. Yeah, I am not looking forward to that because it is gonna be a long flight. Oh, the bacon looks almost done. Man, if we weren't going on our family vacation today, we could have gone to the beach. I can't believe the weather is exceptionally beautiful outside today. Oh well, I guess it's too bad. It's okay, once we arrive, 
At our destination, we can still have a lot of fun and go skiing. I've never gone skiing before. Let's try and go skiing. Daisy, please go have a seat at the breakfast table already. Oh, 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 I did not forget about you, sweetheart. Here you go. Another spoonful here. Ah. Oh, oh, don't drip. And another spoonful. Wow, you are eating really good this morning. You must have been really hungry. It's okay. Here, have more, sweetheart. That way, on the airplane, you'll be nice and fully fed and you can sleep. Okay, all done. No more. What time is it? Oh good, we still have lots of time left. Since we woke up early this morning, we can have time for breakfast before we head off to the airport. But we should still try to hurry up. Are the girls awake? I hope they've woken up. Okay, finally, time for my morning news. Girls, I hope you're awake. Uptown, Crystal Star, wake up please and come downstairs for breakfast. It's really just going to be a very simple breakfast this morning since we have to head off to the airport. So I'm really just making eggs and bacon. The bacon are done. They're nice and crispy. Oh, that looks perfect. I got the bacon to be super crispy this morning just like how you like it, honey. Hmm. Looks like the carnival is in town again this year. And they have some musicals. Oh, it looks like we're gonna miss out on this because we're off on our trip. I guess that's okay because we're gonna go skiing as a family on our family vacation. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, it's gonna be Daisy's first time going skiing. I'm sure she'll love it. Oh, oh silly me, I forgot the eggs. Let's grab some more eggs so that we can make eggs for breakfast for the girls. Oh, here are the eggs. Okay, I don't think I need anything else. Should I make sunny side up eggs or scramble eggs? Mm, I think I'll make sunny side up eggs for breakfast this morning. Looks like we're out of toast this morning, so we're just gonna make some eggs and eat the eggs by themselves. Let me crack the egg here. Don't want any of the shells. Okay, stir it. And I made it even into a cute heart shape. This one will be for Daisy. Daisy, sweetheart, please stop driving back and forth in your car and have a seat at the breakfast table. Breakfast is almost ready. Girls, Crystal Star, Uptown Girl, come down for breakfast, please. Breakfast is ready. Uptown Girl, Crystal Star, come down, please. We have a plane to catch today. Come on, we need to eat now. It's good that we prepared and woke up extra early today. Otherwise, we'd be rushing. Uh-oh, it just stopped. Sometimes we're gonna have to fix the car because it just suddenly broke down. But I got my toolbox here. So we're gonna fix the car. Just wait for me for a bit. Let me open my toolbox. And there are all my tools. Okay, here first we have this skooamajiggy thingy. And all I need to do is fix the eye of our car. need to make a few more eggs. Oh, 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 oh no, I gotta pick up the shell. <laughs> I did not break this egg very well. There are shells all over the place. All right, let's reshape our egg. Make it nice and pretty. Come on, Daisy, it's time for breakfast. Please have a seat. Stop driving around in the car. We have to eat before we start heading off to the airport. Wait, not yet, Mommy. I still gotta fix my car because it broke down. I gotta use the hammer. Don't worry, car, I know what I'm doing. Daisy, this isn't playtime. We still have to head off to the airport later. We don't have much time. Can you please put the car back outside where it's supposed to be and have a seat for breakfast? <laughs> Yeah. 
Now we'll go to the drive-thru and grab some McDonald's on our way to the mall. And then hopefully when we get to the mall, there's gonna be a parking spot. Daisy, what did mommy just say about this not being playtime anymore? We have to eat breakfast, sweetheart. Otherwise, you're gonna be hungry. Come on, clean up, put your car away, and sit down, please. But mom, I'm not hungry yet. You guys eat breakfast first. I don't need to eat right now. Huh? What is it, Teddy? What? You want McDonald's? Oh, okay. You don't want to eat breakfast either? You just want McDonald's? Okay, I'll tell mommy. Mom, Teddy doesn't want to eat breakfast either. He wants McDonald's. I want McDonald's too. Well, you can tell Teddy that he's not getting McDonald's this morning. He's having bacon and eggs, and so are you. Come on, put your car away. You're eating what I made for breakfast so that you won't get hungry later. Oh, but Mom, I don't want to eat eggs and bacon. I want to eat McDonald's. <laughs> good morning. My life sucks. Oh, smells good though. Oh, I can't believe our trip is today. Ow! Close the door on my nose. Ow, ow, ow. Like totally rude much? Ooh, that smells so good. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. I can't wait for our trip to begin. Oh, good. You girls are awake. Well, good morning, sweethearts. Oh, my gosh. What the... Why are you wearing your sunglasses indoors, especially now for breakfast? I mean, I know it's a really nice day and all outside, but wearing your sunglasses inside nowadays isn't cool anymore. You look ridiculous. Leave me alone, you don't understand. <laughs> I can't believe our family vacation starts today. I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses for the rest of the trip. Uptown girl, why are you wearing your sunglasses, sweetheart? Your sister's right, you know. There's no hats and no sunglasses at the eating table. Can you please take them off? Oh, but Dad, but Dad, I can't. For your fake fat information, I can't take off my sunglasses because I have pink eye. Both of my eyes look horrible. I am not taking off my sunglasses. Oh my God, really? Come on, take them off. I want to see. Oh, honey, I'm sure it's not that bad. Let me see. How's your pink eye? Yeah, take it off, take it off. Let me see how bad your eyes are. Uh, no way, you're just gonna laugh at me. It's not funny, you know. <laughs> oh, we promise we're not going to laugh, right, Crystal Star? Uh, right, yeah, I promise I'm not gonna laugh. Come on, take it off, let me see. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't see very clearly. Can you take it off again, but a little bit longer? <laughs> oh, what did you say, honey? Oh, I thought I heard her say Dada there. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Um, Sorry, I was distracted by your little sister. Can you uh, take it off so I can see it again, please? <sighs> Fine. See? Oh my god, those are some serious pink eye. Do you think we should take you to the hospital? <laughs> I can't believe you got pink eye on the day of our family trip. Oh, they look so bad. They are so red. Oh my god. Hey, it's not funny. Stop laughing. See, this is why I didn't even want to show you. I knew you were going to make fun of me. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Okay, I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay, we might have some time. So maybe we'll head off to the hospital just to get your eyes checked out before we head to the airport. No way! I don't want anyone to see my eyes. They look horrible. I am not going to the hospital. Okay, breakfast is ready, family. For breakfast this morning, we're just having eggs and bacon because we ran out of toast. Uh -oh. Let's just have a nice quick breakfast here and then when we head to the airport, we can grab some more food. Okay, final plate to set up the table. I'll just put it down right here. There, all done. Mmm, looks good, Mom. Thank you. This should get us through the morning and we can grab more food later. I'm not even hungry. I hate my life right now. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy, for putting your car away. Now look, I got breakfast prepared for you. Now please go wash your hands and have a seat with your big sisters. But I don't want bacon and eggs for breakfast. 
breakfast. Can I have ice cream instead? Please, please. Oh, or cake. Absolutely not, Daisy. Whenever have I ever given you ice cream or cake for breakfast? It's a hard no. Mmm, the bacon's really good. Come on, Daisy, come here and try some bacon. No, no, I don't want to eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast. I already said so. I do what I want. I want some ice cream or cake. Daisy, you're not having ice cream or cake for breakfast, and that's final, young lady. Come here, please. No, Daisy. Close the fridge, please, and come here. No! No! Mommy and Daddy don't love me anymore! Daisy, please close the fridge. You can have some ice cream after breakfast. It's not fair. I want cake and ice cream for breakfast now. I'm not going to eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast. No! Come on, Daisy. The bacon is really good. Come try some. I say no is no. I do what I want. I eat what I want. I don't want no eggs or bacon. Daisy, please. Let's just eat some bacon and eggs for now so you won't get hungry. And we can grab something else to eat later, okay? No! I said I want to have McDonald's or cake or ice cream for breakfast. Come on, Daisy. We have to eat breakfast before we start heading off to the airport. If you don't eat your breakfast, we're just going to leave without you and you're not going to get to come with us on a plane and then you won't get to go skiing. Oh, no. Fine, I'm just going to stay here and I'm going to have all the ice cream and the cake to myself. I'm not going. <laughs> oh my gosh, my little sister is so spoiled. This is what happens when my mom and dad lets her do whatever she wants and she never gets punished for anything that she ever does. This is why she's such a spoiled little brat sometimes. She never listens to anyone. <sighs> it's okay, family. Let's just start eating. If Daisy doesn't want to eat, then she'll just have to stay home. No family vacation or skiing for Daisy. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, this bacon is good. I'm not eating. I'm gonna skateboard. <laughs> Look, I learned a new trick. Oh man, Daisy's been getting out of hand lately. She hasn't really been listening to anything that we've been telling her to do. I think it's time we start disciplining her, but you know, we've spoiled her for so long, uh -oh. it's kind of hard now. Maybe if we leave her be for just a little bit, then she'll come over and eat. Let me try to do a flip. <laughs> oh, almost. <sighs> Flips are hard. Yeah, I don't think she's coming, Mom. And are you going to allow her to skateboard inside the house? Remember what happened last time? Uh oh Daisy, you're not even allowed to skateboard inside the house. Can you please put your skateboard away right now? I was going to put my skateboard away right now anyways. I got bored of it. And I'm still not eating any breakfast. <laughs> I'm back. Who wants to go swimming? Let's go to the beach today. We are not going to the beach. With my eye like this, someone could see me. And it'll be totally embarrassing. My eye is all pink and everything and ugly. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Big sister, your eyes look like two big gigantic strawberries. <laughs> Mom, are you just going to let her do that? <sighs> Mm, these bacon are really crunchy. Mm, the bacon's really good this morning, Mom. If we go to the beach later, I'm going to tell my friends that my big sister has eyes like big strawberries. Oh, oh my God, can you like not? Can everybody stop talking about my eyes? I know they look bad.
Oh my god, no! I can't believe I got you that trumpet for your birthday. I totally regret it now. Can you please put that away and just come and eat already? Like I said to mommy and daddy, I'm not coming to eat because I'm only gonna eat ice cream or cake or McDonald's for breakfast. I gotta practice my trumpet now. Oh my god. Dad, mom, do something. Oh, daisies. Put that away right now. I'm bad at it right now because I haven't had time to practice. If I practice a bit more, I'll get better. If you don't put that trumpet away right now, it's gonna mysteriously disappear later. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. <gasps> You're gonna throw my trumpet away? That's so mean. Fine. I'm gonna go hide it. Okay, maybe she'll come eat breakfast now. After she's done putting her trumpet away. Mm. We just have to be a bit more patient. Oh, we really shouldn't have let her done everything she wanted. She is a little spoiled. Mm. And bratty. It's not like she's our favorite or anything, but... Mm. Mm. She was our youngest, so we did let her slide with a lot of poor bad behaviors. And now we're really paying for it. Mm. Oh, look, she's back. Look what I can do. I learned a new trick. Ta-da! In the next gymnastics class, I'm going to show my teacher this new trick. Look, Mommy. Look, Daddy. <gasps> oh, my gosh, sweetheart. Oh, dear. Why are you crying, honey? Mom! Mom, are you looking at my new trick? Dad, are you watching? Mommy, look! Look what I can do! See? Oh, is anyone even looking? <laughs> you used to look at all of my tricks before little sister came along, and now you don't anymore. Oh no, I know what that cry is about. Are you hungry? Oh dear, come here, sweetie. Oh, you are hungry, aren't you? Just look at the way you're looking at the bottle. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Mommy did forget about you. Daddy was supposed to feed you this morning. Honey, why didn't you feed the baby while I was making breakfast? See, you didn't even feed her any of the milk in the bottle. And now she's hungry. Oh, there, there, there. Um, um, I, 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 I... I, I did. Um, I fed her yogurt this morning. I thought that would be enough. Uh, sorry, I, I totally forgot about the bottle of milk. Um, could you feed the baby for me, please? <sighs> Fine, let me feed the baby since you're lucky that I already finished eating my breakfast. Thanks, dear. You are a lifesaver. Uh, sorry about forgetting to feed her milk this morning. Oh, I got a few more bacons to eat. I can't believe that I forgot to give you milk this morning. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh, just look at that. She is just drinking it all down. Oh, my poor baby. You must have been so hungry. Oh, there, there, eat up. <sighs> I know that I can't spin anymore. Is anybody even looking? Hello? Oh, wow. The bottle is empty already. <gasps> you drank the whole thing. Oh, aren't you a lot happier now, my baby girl? And hopefully now that you're fully fed, you'll be able to go to sleep for the entire plane ride. That would make my life so much easier too. Oh, 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 oh no, what's wrong, what's wrong? Oh, does somebody need a burpee? There it is. There we go. <laughs> you drank your milk up so fast that you got a little gassy. You must be feeling so much better now. <laughs> and you'll probably stay up for just a little bit longer before you go back to sleep. Right, my sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Mom, you're not looking at me. Uh, all you pay attention to now is the new baby. Daisy, I don't want to have to keep repeating myself. You're supposed to be sitting at the breakfast table eating with your big sisters. I made you bacon and eggs for breakfast this morning, and I want you to go there and 
just eat it, please. No, 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 no. It's a gazillion, gazillion, million no's. I want ice cream or cake or McDonald's. Ah! I just fell down there. No, I'm not coming for breakfast. Oh my god, what are we gonna do with that girl? She is getting out of hand. She hasn't been listening to anything her dad and I have been telling her to do all week. Oh jeez. Looks like everyone is done their breakfast. Uh, I wouldn't say everyone is done their breakfast. Yeah, dad, look. Daisy's plate is still full. We're done eating though. But look, there's still food, bacon, and eggs on Daisy's plate. She's the only one that hasn't even eaten. And you know what? It's not even for today's breakfast. She literally does this for almost every meal. Yeah, she refuses to eat anything unless it's something she wants to eat. She's so bratty. I think it's time that you do something about it, Dad. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Daisy, come here and eat your breakfast, please. No, I'm not coming. But look, I got my hula hoop. Look what I can do now. I can do the hula hoop now. Daisy, you need to eat your breakfast before we head to the airport. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. Daisy? I learned how to do the hula hoop at school and I'm the best in my class. I can hula hoop for a long time. My teacher says I'm really good. Who wants to learn how to hula hoop? I can teach you if you want. That's enough, young lady. Put that away, please. Come here. No! Come on, sweetheart. It's time for breakfast. We have to eat or you're going to be hungry heading to the airport. I don't want to eat no eggs or bacon, though. No. I want an ice cream. Well, ice cream is not acceptable for breakfast, so you're going to eat your breakfast right now, no questions. This is not a negotiation. Come here, young lady. Finally, it's about time. Come on, little sister. Why do you always have to make such a big fuss of every meal? Just eat already. I eat what I wanna. I get to do what I wanna. No, you don't. You have to listen to mom and dad and us. Eat your breakfast or you're going to be in big trouble. Right, mom? Right, dad? I wanna eat bacon. I wanna eat sausage. And I don't like my eggs this way. I want scramble eggs. Daisy, we have to head to the airport, so I'm not making you a new breakfast. But I don't want to eat bacon or eggs like this. Come on, Daisy, if you give it a try, maybe you'll like it. Hmm? Here, let me feed you. Ah. No! No, one ring. Good girl, see? Doesn't it taste delicious? If you try a bite, then you might like it. Now, how about another bite, okay? I'll help feed you here. I just swallowed it, but I didn't like it. No more, Dad. Oh, come on. Just another spoonful. You just gotta eat a few more bites, okay? Here, let me get it for you. Say, ah. No! I said I don't want to eat this. Oh, no! I said no. You're not listening to me. I... Say no! <gasps> Daisy, I can't believe you just did that. <gasps> oh my god. Did you just spit out all of your food on Dad's face? Daisy! Oh my god! <laughs> Daddy, your face looks so funny. Sorry, that that was an accident. I got kind of mad. Oh, gross. Bacon bits all over my face. Oh, now it's so oily. Daisy, that is not acceptable, young lady. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, bacon all over my face. Daisy, even if you didn't want to eat, it's not right to be spitting on anyone's face. I can't believe you spat on your dad's face. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It was an accident, mommy. Yeah, right. It was not an accident. You totally did that on purpose. Don't let her get away with this, Dad. Do something about it. Oh, first, gotta get the grease off my face. Oh, bacon is super oily. Now my face feels really oily. I'm gonna have to go wash my face again. I might even have to wash my hair again because there's oil in my hair now, too. Oh, 
It's so unfair how she gets away with all this and never gets punished for anything. Oh my god, mom, dad, I can't believe you're not gonna do anything about it. Punish her or something. Honey, I think the girls are right. I think it's time we give Daisy her first time out. She needs to learn her lesson. Uh-oh. A time out? What's that? Is it fun? What, am I gonna like it? I don't want a time out. She hasn't been listening to us and she's been naughtier and naughtier every day. I think the girls are right. It's time that we start disciplining Daisy already. Yeah, now we're talking. She should definitely get time out. And maybe you should ground her too. Yeah, take all her toys away and her iPad too. Yeah, give her a really long time out. You're right, you're right. The girls are right too. You know, we have let it get out of hand and gone too far. It's time that Daisy learns her lesson and learn how to behave. Come here, sweetheart. It's time for a time out. You're going to stand in the corner, face the wall, no talking, and you're going to stand there for five minutes. <gasps> that doesn't sound fun! No! <laughs> now, every time you do something bad in the future, you're going to be getting a time out. Okay, let's go! Finally, this I gotta see. There's no use crying because it's not going to change anything. Now, you're going to stand there for five minutes. Turn around, please. Face the wall. Don't look at me. Oh, don't give me that puppy face. It's not going to work on me. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you tell her. Don't let her cute puppy face suck you in. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that face. She's just so cute. Nope, nope. I have to be strong. I have to resist. Yeah, Dad, be strong. Don't give in. You can do it. Yeah, don't fall for her puppy look face. <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Nope, nope, I have to resist. I can't fall for that puppy face. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. I am keeping my eye on the timer. It's not time yet. I know this is hard, but she has to stand there for a full five minutes. It's her first time out and her first time getting a punishment. I know it's not going to be easy. Looking at a wall is so boring. <laughs> Why is five minutes so long? <laughs> I hate time outs. <laughs> what a wonderful day today is Daisy's first time getting a punishment. Anyways, I'm gonna go change. Bye! Ah, it's a good day. Ah, karma. Wow, that was quite the show. All right, I'm done breakfast. I'm also gonna head out. I want to go change as well, even though I still have to wear my sunglasses all day. I want to look cute. Bye, Mom. Thanks for breakfast. All right, girls, get changed and bring down your luggage. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's five minutes. And that's Daisy's first time getting time out. Okay, time out's done. All right, have you learned your lesson, sweetie? Yes, would you like to come eat breakfast now with mom and dad? Or would you like to go back and do another five minutes of time out? If you eat breakfast now, maybe after lunch, we can also go for some ice cream. Or they might even give us ice cream on the plane. So would you like to do more time out or eat breakfast? <gasps> no, no more time out. Looking at a wall is really boring. Uh, I'll eat breakfast then. Good decision. Good choice. Mm -hmm. I still want ice cream later. Oh, it worked. Maybe we should have given her some more discipline earlier. See, now she's listening to us. All right, let's start getting ready to head to the airport now. Mm -hmm. I'm still eating. Mm -hmm. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.